The body has natural means of regulating its own temperature, but failure to do so in the presence of extreme heat is called heat stroke, and it can result in permanent organ damage or even death. Heat stroke is more serious than heat exhaustion. However, heat exhaustion, if left untreated, can lead to heat stroke. Heat exhaustion occurs when a victim does not get enough liquids, especially water and salt in very hot, humid weather. Heat stroke is caused by the body not being able to regulate its own temperature due to intensive sweating under conditions of high heat and humidity. Heat exhaustion is characterized by excessive sweating, a general weakness or dizziness, perhaps heat cramps. The skin is usually cold and vomiting may occur. The victim usually remains conscious. Heat stroke is characterized by absence of sweat. Skin will be hot and dry. A very high body temperature generally greater than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Signs and symptoms may include changes in mental status ranging from personality changes, confusion, and coma, rapid heartbeat, rapid and shallow breathing, feeling dizzy or lightheaded, headache and or nausea. Rule of thumb, heat exhaustion equals sweating, get out of the heat. Heat stroke equals no sweating and is life-threatening. If you suspect heat stroke, utilize the acronym AID. Get the victim out of the heat. Move them to a shaded location or, if possible, to an air-conditioned facility. Cool the person down as quickly as possible. Spray the victim with water. Remove any clothing that will retain heat in the body. Apply ice packs to their forehead, under their armpits, behind their knees, the back of their neck, and in their groin area. Do not apply ice or ice packs directly to the skin. Wrap it with a cloth. Fan the victim, if possible, with an electric fan. If the victim is able to drink, give them cool water. Administer emergency oxygen.